Last year, I made a video debunking Tecton TV, a YouTube channel run by a Christian apologist named James Patrick Holding. His video is a satirical illustration of the death of Richard Dawkins and his arrival for judgment to heaven, and how he was treated by the people who received him. Of course, the person who received him is Mr. Holding, driving a motorcycle in a very dramatic and dangerous way, in a costume of a furry, a fox-like creature, I think. In that video, I questioned his understanding of Kana and how he treated atheists. Of course, I also include a little bit of humor in my response. I did not realize that some time later, he made a video response to my video. And the reason why I didn't notice that is, as you know, YouTube have removed the video response feature. So basically, you never know unless your followers tell you. Well, this year somebody told me that he has made a response. I saw the response, and being so condescending in his videos, I feel that I should not give him a pass on this one and answer him properly. So here is my answer. He makes his video response not only to me, but to others YouTubers who responded to his Richard Dawkins video. In total, they were five. He participates in some kind of a show called Jerry Springboard. A nice show to do an analogy because the original show in TV is an idiotic show for stupid people. But let us leave that away. He gets a nice presentation. And of course, since it's his video and he's so condescendent, he addresses their question with a boring face and a little bit of disdain. At the end of supposedly winning his point over every one of these five YouTubers, he ends up whacking them out of their podium in a very violent way. Excellent analogy for the kind of personality that he has. His introduction, of course, is modifying somewhat what he says in the original video in a way that his position now doesn't look so stupid. Let's see. Uh, no, Jerry. What I say is that the word for jealousy in the form found in Exodus always is used to describe God and is nowhere described as a sin. It's a behavior that an honorable person is expected to exhibit towards that which he or she is perceived to possess exclusive access. So for God to be jealous here is not a vice in context, but a supreme virtue and demonstration of his concern for Israel. Who's next? Yeah, my name's Jolly Ulipa. Yeah, well, Wikipedia says that jealousy is an emotion, and that it refers to negative thoughts and insecurity. And Joseph Whalen says you can't tamper with the translation. Great. I'm using top-notch biblical scholars like Sarna and Molina as sources, and you're using an online encyclopedia that can be edited by anyone, including 15-year-olds. Plus, you're using Joseph Wheelis, an uninformed freethinker of the 19th century who knew about as much as the social world of the Bible as you do about Japanese fiscal policy. Yeah, I'm definitely changing my mind now. The point of Mr. Holding saying that I was wrong because I used Wikipedia as a source is very weak. Because although Wikipedia is a public encyclopedia where people can modify it, instead of showing where Wikipedia was wrong on the definition of jealousy, he only pointed out that it was not a good source. Well, let us show him some other source of the definition of jealousy and to be jealous. And let's see how he can now come with the answer that the Merriam-Webster dictionary is a bad source for defining a word in the English language. I understand that you want to change the definition in order to support your belief, but the context that you want to give to the definition of God jealousy that is nothing but a supreme virtue and a demonstration of his concern for Israel is contrary to any definition of jealousy. The only context that you can find where God is shown to be jealous, particularly in his first four commandments, and many other quotes within the Bible, is not of concern. It is quite clear of somebody being jealous of his possession. But we people are not God's possession. And remember, we have free will to love whoever we want. Why God should be jealous of us using our free will to not love him? Yeah, my name's Jolly Ulipa. You said they had an honor-based society. What honor can you bring out of a book where God has killed more people than the character portrayed as the devil? Uh, look stupid. That the world of the Bible was an honor-based society is a fact established independently of any death tolls. Over 99% of societies that have existed have been honor-based, including over 60% of the world today. 
Do you even understand what I mean by an honor-based society? As you can see through the whole video, Mr. Tecton TV uses the excuse of the honor-based society to justify certain actions of his God. But certainly, many studies have been made on the honor-based societies and honor-based culture. Most of them identify the behavior under these societies as being gang type, full of violence. It is the conclusion of almost all of these studies that the cultures of honor facilitate certain forms of interpersonal violence. And the Bible is a good example of how this culture of honor generates violence, particularly from the God, Yahweh. If the honor-based society or honor-based culture is an explanation of why this violence exists, it is not a justification for this type of violence to be declared as good or not a sin. These acts, whether committed by a follower or by God himself, are not good behavior and cannot be discarded as that was a behavior in those times, so it is accepted. No, it is not acceptable. Jealousy is not an acceptable behavior, not even for God. And there is not a justification that you can bring that will make the definition of jealousy change. The stupidity of this claim can be easily exposed. In today's Afghanistan society, as it has been for many centuries, it exists a culture of honor. For instance, if your daughter takes as a husband somebody you don't like, or is raped or something like that, her father or siblings have to save their honor by killing her in the most horrific way. If we compare the justification that Mr. Holden is putting for Yahweh, for doing so many killings in the name of honor, then he is comparing his God with the Taliban who do the same to their daughters when they do not abide by the code of honor or by their honor-based society. Are you, Mr. Tecton, implying that in this situation, the father who killed his daughter did so out of concern for her well-being? Or as Mr. Holding said, when God kills somebody who do not abide his love to him, He's not being jealous, he's just being concerned for the well-being of his dead child. What a stupid justification, Mr. Holding, Tecton TV or whatever. A perfect being should not have characteristics like this, plagued with earthly emotions and carrying out unjust punishment. The truth is that your God is a sadistic being who takes pleasure on the sufferings of others. And you are a dishonest and a bad person for trying to justify his behavior. Thank you for your attention.